Welcome to the channel. I am Moth TCG, and today we'll be looking at a blue white deck using Monastery Mentor and Hadi Jin. Um, so this deck looks to get a big Jin or a quick Monastery Mentor with either Helping Hand or Recommission. Uh, both these cards let you return it from your graveyard. And as you can see, these both cost less than Mentor, so that allows you to play more spells to make your 1-1 one, one Mox of the Prowess. The way that we get Jin or Mentor in the graveyard is through um, cantrips like Consider. Um, we have Otherworldly other world, worldly Gaze. Sorry, that's a mouthful. Um, Chart, of course. Picklock Prankster. And that that's how we get things in the graveyard. Sometimes you just play it and it dies and you can get it back with one of these two cards so oh and ledger sh shredder um this lets you discard when you combine so that's also a way um as far as other cards we have in this deck i have a cryptic coat because i've been having a little trouble with like control decks and i'm thinking if we can stick this we can just have a threat that they have a hard time dealing with and it's only taking up one spot or a main deck we do have a second one on the sideboard so i think it should be pretty good you know, people are calling it um, the new true name Nemesis. I don't think it's that good, but it is pretty good. Um, we have March of Swirling Mist. Um, this lets us phase out X target creatures. And um, so this is good to help us protect our mentors or our gens. It also lets us phase their creatures out for a good, uh, a big alpha strike on our side of things. Um, then we have get lost for removal and that's the entirety of the main deck the sideboard uh, let me let me move my camera out the way so this is our sideboard um, we have some sunset revelries for more aggressive matchups uh, a couple knockout blows for the red decks Four lockdowns for the Convoke decks and other aggressive decks that stay low to the ground. Uh, a couple spell pierces for the control matchups. Uh, Distinctable stroke for control midrange sort of thing. A couple destroy evils. Another cryptic coat. And this is supposed to be a get lost. Let me change it. I was playing four get lost in the main deck. Um, but I decided to trim one. So we're going to play the fourth in the board. But this is the deck, so let's get into some games. Hopefully, we have a good record. Um, at worst, this deck's a lot of fun, and at best, it's really powerful with a board of Prowess Monk tokens. So, let's do it. Okay, here we are for our first game. Um, this hand isn't the best, but it's probably keepable, just because we have consider and gaze to help us get to our next lands um the only issue is we don't have either one of our return th three drop or less to the battlefield cards nor a way to get them in the this gen or mentor into the graveyard so i think i'm gonna go to mulligan i don't think this hand's quite good enough okay this hand's not much different but i think i'll keep it just because we're on six and we'll put a gaze on the bottom. All right, let's do sleight of hand. And we'll take another coast. And um, we'll need to draw one more land at some point. But okay, we got there. Let's just pass back and hold up the... Be the... Free the Fey. Okay. And we'll take a helping hand. Alright, so we can either slam the Jin or try to get things in our graveyard and try helping hand next turn. They are probably holding up a removal spell being a black red deck, so I think I'm just gonna pass. This could be wrong, but Okay. Rexian Fles Forger is fine by me. I'm going to consider just to make them think that we could possibly have counter spells, you know. And I don't want this consider. 
Right, would you a mentor? That's not exactly what we wanted to draw. We could have got that in the graveyard. That'd been better. But I'm gonna put all these in the in the yard, just where so we can dig a little deeper with this. Um, I will take another land. We got Shredder. All right, so let's just go Island, Jin. Helping can Jin. And then we can possibly kill them next turn. All we have to do is put another instant or sorcery in our graveyard. All right, they do have a board wipe. This is a Grixis deck and not a blue uh black red deck, okay. This is probably fine. We do have another helping hand. And they lose their guy too. Right, let's go Shredder. Helping hand. Get back a Jin. And I'm gonna discard Mentor. And we'll pass turn. They still have four cards. They pretty full grip, but we have a couple things to try to set up here. Ooh, so they're gonna return their Traxa and this other card to the battlefield. This says they can hey, sacrifice him at the beginning of your next instep. So we're not going to let a tracks to hit us. I'm not as worried about this hitting us. I mean, this this is kind of scary, actually. So maybe we do. Because if they hit like get lost or something. Our dude dies. I think we just have to let it happen though. I think the seven life that they can gain from a tracks is more scary than the possibility that they hit one of our other two get lost. And they're only exile in the top card of our library, so I think that's fine. No blocks. see what they get here oh they do their library I don't know why I misread that so it, that's still fine I mean it's not exactly what we want it but can't say I played a lot against that card so it happens right, so we can chart of course here I think I'm gonna start with this gaze Okay, I kind of want both of these. I don't really want this land though. And I'm just going to attack with Shredder. And then Charter Core so we don't have to discard a card. I mean, we'll have to discard to this. But not to the... Not to the Charter Course. So now we have two Mentors in hand. And can return a Jin from our Graveyard. I can't say if they play another pool that I'm very excited about it though. Okay, an appraiser. I'm gonna discard a mentor. They kill our shredder. Yeah, we're going to have to start trying to work towards a, a big mentor board at this point. We started out really strong and that pull just kind of did a number on us. Uh, let's go recommission, get back a mentor. 
play a tap land and pass. And then we'll, of course, be looking to fee, uh, free the Fey at some point of this turn so we get a monk token. It would be really nice if they can kill our monastery mentor, but I don't see that as a possibility. Okay, we can give it a prowess trigger so they have to use another piece of removal or a second one of those. Okay, we got a march of the swirling mist. That's not a terrible card. We do have two, three, four, five. So we only have one copy of our like helping hand slash, slash recommission effects in our deck. So that's a bit scary. I've conquered entire plains. <laughs> All right, so I have to discard at least one card here. I guess I'll do the mentor. Pleasure doing business. And I'll decline this one. Go to one. Plead for mercy. Okay. Yeah, I don't see what we get out of this one now. All right, let's go to game two. So. Uh, if planeswalkers, they have big spells and a bunch of big creatures. Um, so Distinctful Stroke's probably pretty good. I don't mind Spell Pierce. Another copy of Get Lost is probably pretty good. I don't think I want Destroy Evil on top of it. Um, probably Cryptic Coat It's okay. I'm going to cut the shredders. Um, they're kind of just in here as filler anyways. It's just the best two drop possible in a deck like this right now. But I'd rather just have the cryptic, cryptic coat threats since they're going to jam the board up a lot anyways. Uh, we can shed a gaze and a recommission and a swirling mist. Let's just run it like this. We will play first and I will keep this hand. And we'll start on a waste and look to consider at the end step. Um, I don't think that's it. I think we want to get closer to our cards that really matter. Uh, we have a helping hand now, so I think we just play another pain land and pass the turn look to prankster at the end of the step yep so we'll hit this prankster we hit a Jin or a mentor we'll pull this coast the only problem at the moment we'll bring one of these back is it's probably gonna die and we're not going to get value from it, but I will do it anyways. Uh, let's just bring Mentor back. And then we'll bring Jin back. We'll get a Monk and we'll have three guys on board. What's up, homie? How's it going? He's still playing a bit of magic or no? All right, Arjun dies. I think we're in a better situation this game than we were last game, though. Okay. Play a beach. 
cryptic coat. And attack for two. So they have to be able to kill this cryptic coat now, or we can just return it. I don't know what draft is coming next. I'm sure there's a schedule somewhere, but I don't know where it's at. Okay, so we'll consider... Gonna bend that. Alright, Spell Pierce is not a bad pickup. Let's just uh, attack for three. I'm going to pick this up. And um, let's play it again. I don't really think they have anything to uh, interact with at the moment. And we can just keep making creatures, which is pretty good. Okay. So they do kill our two um, face down cards, but we still have Cryptic Coat on the battlefield and we can just return it to our hand and replay it. They are setting up their reanimate spell though, so we have to be... We have to make sure we can counter it with our spell peers. Alright, a gaze. I don't think I want to play this land. It's just better as a interaction piece at the moment. Attack for three. Um, if we return this and then play it, we still have spell pierce mana open. So I think I will. And this is past the turn. This card's a lot stronger than I thought it was. Okay. So if this hits an instant or sorcery, or like, yeah, that works too. Oh, I'm just going to counter this. And, um, I think we get lost the dinosaur and then attack. And I'm just going to leave my mana open. So we don't want like it attracts it again any life here. Okay, so they just get two dinosaurs, which is pretty scary because they discover five when they enter the battlefield so they get one of those guys and they get to discover again and they hit a shield it Yeah, can't do anything about that either. And we just have to hit, take this hit for 14, I believe. There's not, like, a lot we can do about it. And we have to return the shoulder so we don't die. Let's look at the top two of our deck. Soul Pierce only targets non creature spells, so no. We'll take the gaze. We'll take a peep with this. See what we can find. I think I should keep that. When I have something like to get. Yeah. Okay. This is flying. Oh, that has flying. So we have to play this to have a blocker. 
it's possible we just die. Um. Okay. Let's attack with our one that can't be blocked. Play the prankster. We're just going to die to the shield is the issue, so. Send the turn back. don't see us getting out of this one yeah so they did the right thing just played the shoulder and that's gonna be game okay uh, I'm gonna keep this hand we'll just start with let's start with a slider hand I guess we'll take a second one. Well, this opponent's at rank 77%, so they're down pretty bad. So maybe we can get there. Let's throw in Jun. Okay. Not a card you see a lot, so they're in something interesting. I think I'm just going to chart a course. We'll discard one of the helping hands. Wait a second. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to discard one of my dudes. And say that now well, we have three helping hands. But as you can see, that's not what I did. Okay, I guess we're just playing a Jin. It'd probably help to get a win if I'd stop doing stupid stuff, but what can you do? So we have a big flyer now. We can play a second one. Okay, I think we're kind of cooking now because is if we draw land that is because we can play mentor plus when you sack a whenever you sack a creature you may return target creature with lesser mana value from your graveyard to the battlefield tap do this only once each turn okay uh, i'm just gonna throw another one out there at some point one of them got a stick right that's a big dinosaur. I mean, I guess I'll have to block because I don't want to just like keep taking damage, so I will. Okay, let's chart a course. I'll do the right thing this time. We're going to recommission the mentor. Uh, I should have recommissioned the hottie gen, I guess, but we'll bring it back anyways. And we have a couple of big bodies. I can't attack into the bone whore, Dracustar. You would have told me that all my opponents would be playing this card tonight. I would not have played this deck. But here we are. So I guess we need to set up another helping hand next turn. I imagine they're just going to kill our mentor because it's the most threatening thing. If they want to start attacking with their Dracusar, they may kill a Jin. But that's not what I would do personally. 
Okay, at the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice another creature. When you do, those damage equal that creature's power to any target, and you create three treasures. Okay. Our opponent is brewing. I will take five. This is not what I expected to play against. All right, now they have four treasures and we don't have a mentor. That's great. If you could have asked me what I wanted to happen, that would have been exactly what I told you. All right, let's go bring mentor back. And let's mill ourselves. Okay. These both have eight power now. So I could just um, phase some stuff out. I'm going to pay. So we only have to pay one. Because it costs two less, and we're just going to phase out all their guys, I guess. Or I guess it doesn't matter, because they're going to get them back immediately anyways. So I'm just going to pay zero. Oh, I got to pick how many targets. Um, submit zero. We're going to phase these two guys out. This will give us a, an attack for 18. And okay, got the concession sweep. So this is just a big mana deck, it seems. Um, Destroy evil seems like it'd be pretty good. Get lost seems like it'll be good. We could board in stroke. Um, I think I'd rather be proactive than reactive in this particular matchup. So let's remove cryptic cloak. I'm going to get rid of one Swirling Mist. It was pretty good there, but I don't think it always is going to be. And then I'm going to... I'm going to trim a Shredder. Maybe. No. Let's trim just a Gaze? Question mark? Nah, let's do a recommission. Okay, this should be good. This should be fine. I think we should be able to pull this one out. They're kind of slower deck. Our deck setups can set up faster than theirs can. So I think we'll be all right. Hopefully. Okay, they probably have some crazy sideboard plan. I mean, they brewed up a crazy main deck, so you can only think, you know. This hand doesn't look like it does much, and it doesn't, but we have double consider our lands and a mentor, so I think it's fine. Right, there's a get loss. Let's just pass the turn. We draw into like Charter Course plus. Um, helping hand, that'd be sick. I, I think I keep this recommission. Okay, that's a good draw. We'll play a coast, and then we're just going to pass turn. And hopefully we can, uh, mill ourselves into something good. Okay. Okay, here we go again. Um, this hand doesn't really do anything, so I'm a mulligan. This hand's a little better, but still not really anything going on, so I'm a mulligan. And this will be our keep. This hand's probably pretty decent. I think I want to set up for our commission. But I think these two are a little better at doing that, so let's keep those. Okay, so they have the... One mana dinosaur ramper. 
I'm gonna play island and we're gonna gaze at the end of their turn seems that they might have kept okay I was about to say they might have kept the one lander let's look at the top three so we want the untap source I don't think I want the rest of the cards so let's play coast and then we can in turn and prankster at the end step all right well that's a dinosaur that's pretty big We'll take the... I think I'm going to take the gaze, actually. Let's take a look here. None of these cards are things that we need, so we just got to keep milling ourselves, play a beach, and hope we can hit something at the end step. And then it's another dinosaur. Okay. We are having a real bad time. Can't say this is the matchup I had in mind when I decided to try to this deck, but... What can you do? Play island. Let's look at this. I mean, we finally hit a creature, but I think it's too late. Yeah, let's go to game two. We want all this removal in. Um, we can bring stroke. That's pretty good. I don't think cryptic cloak is going to be fast enough. I'd rather keep mana open than play Shredder. And we'll cut a Gaze too. And run it. This deck tends to be pretty decent against like the aggro decks in my experience because of Lockdown. Or the sideboard. But I haven't really played against these bigger like creature decks. All right, we're just getting terrible hands. I'll keep this. Mm, we'll just play tap land and pass. All right, let's take a look at the top two. We'll get this consider and I'll play our land. And we'll probably gaze at end step they have a stomper to go get a land and this isn't going well for us again honestly all right let's just bin all of these so we can get deeper to our recommission or helping hand okay and we did get there sick so we do this bring back mentor Play side of hand, side of hand, my bad. Get the waste, play it, and turn. Now we can make another monk. They do slam a big dinosaur though. Um, do we have anything else in our graveyard at the moment? No, so we definitely don't want this. Okay, get lost is pretty good to kill this bone horde, Dracusar. And then we can do gaze at the end, their end step. So let's kill this. And I think we just got to start beating before... They get a big board full of dinosaurs, so let's hit in and then pass back. Let 
That's a bramble familiar. That's fine. We're going to explore with it. I hit a land, but it's a tap land, so that's fine. And they get another lore keeper. All right, let's gaze again. Um, I don't want any of these cards. That's another mentor. Not exactly what we're looking for, though. I think we just... So if I attack with everything, they block three things. Probably take three. This puts at a kind of good range. Let's attack with everything. I mean, we are like... Okay. So they only blocked four. So this means if we draw another spell... Hadijin just kills him. Shot. Let's see what they choose to cast. They get. Okay. All right. Going to game three. So that's more what this deck is supposed to do. You just get a quick mentor. Make a couple tokens, they don't have an immediate answer for it, and you win. Is the idea worked pretty nicely there? Hopefully, can do it again. All right, we got lands and spells. Uh, we keep this. We need a Helping hand and a mentor. All right, we got a Jin. That's good because we have Charter Course, like Coast and Pass. I think with this hand, we probably just Charter Course the next turn, and then we can look for the Helping Hand with Prankster in the following turn. Uh, let's spin that. All right, prankster. Let's charter course. We got the helping hand, and then we'll discard Jin. Right, so they got tap land. So they got to play a three drop. It's the biggest they can play. All right, they're just doing a little ramping. Still scary, but. Better the the alternative. Uh, let's play Island. Let's helping hand. Get back the Jin. And then we're just gonna. I guess we could charter course. That's pretty good. Yeah, we can charter course and hold up destroy evil. Discord discard mentor. And send the turn back. If they don't play something we want to kill, we can always just pick lock prankster, get another spell. And our Jin's getting pretty threatening. Especially with the additional cards we can play to put cards in our graveyard, like prankster and gaze. Um, so they might exile our graveyard with that, but let's look them. Let's make them pay for it first. And there's no reason to do anything in response here. Because if I mill, I'm just, they're exiling those two. So it's down to a zero four, but that's okay. Um, we will take two. I'm going to pick lock Brinkster. Didn't hit a single spell. That's unlucky. Do it again. All right, let's take this helping hand. I'll play a waste. Let's get our Jin. Um, I'm going to consider now just for, for an extra point of damage. 
Okay, we could get a prankster, but or we have a third gen, so I kind of like that. Let's do it. And then I will attack for four. And we have destroy evil as it'll give a plus three on our attack here because they'll all go to five force and kill whatever big guy they play here. That I guess the scariest card they could play is a Tali. So hopefully they don't do that. Another tranquil rollback. Okay, and that's unfortunate. That is not what I wanted to see. I mean, we don't have trouble putting things in our graveyard, though. And if they're having to react to us instead of getting big attacks in, then I'm not that upset about it. We are taking three here. All right, that's a good draw. Um, I'm putting all these in the graveyard. And then we're just going to run it again. I'll play a beach, play a prankster, and I guess we're going to pass. Three damage isn't that big of a deal. Can't believe we didn't hit any more spells than we hit, but I guess we're going to draw spells. That's good. Okay. Well, that's scary. Two damage to each. That's two damage to target creature equal to two or the greatest power among dinosaurs you control. Okay, well, I can't stop that anyways. So it's going to die. Why is that? Okay, so why is that not going away? Um, I guess we kill a Tali. That is another land. Not exactly what we want it. Let's attack for seven. In the turn. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we draw one spell that we can cast, we have lethal. They could just have another Tali though. We've seen so many lands this game, so that's a bone horde. That's okay. I mean, we need to be able to kill it, but like, that's okay. I think I just have to take these. Okay, so this is four, five, six. So not quite. I think I just have to pass. Alright, so I guess I'm phasing some stuff out. I can do it for five, might as well. I'm just gonna block one of these maybe with this just to be safe I don't care that much about it dying I just want to keep my gins oh I forgot these cost 
I was like, what did I do wrong? But like, it costs less because of the gens. But that's fine. It didn't really matter. That is unfortunate. Okay, we're just dead. And um, we have one. Okay, we'll play first. And I, this hand. I mean, we can find a land with gaze probably. So let's keep it. Let's see how it goes. Not the strongest hand I've ever seen, but we should have a pretty quick um, mentor Jin, depending on what we want. So they are blue black that we know of probably uh, esper um, we do want the land and we can put the gin in the graveyard we'll play planes i'm just i'm gonna just recommission this gin now we have a three five flyer on turn two it's pretty good they got a bat um, probably get rid of a charter course, I would imagine. Oh, they got rid of the mentor. That's fine, too. Um, let's, um, uh, I'm just gonna do this first. I don't think we mind discarding something from it. Uh, let's just go to... Alright, sick. So, probably like blue light mid-range. So maybe another get lost. Um, I could see Coat being pretty decent in this matchup. Let's shed a commission, shed a um, swirling mist, and then I'm just gonna bring in a couple spell pierces. And what else do we not want? I'm gonna go back down to three get lost. That seems fine. Let's do this. So that's more how the deck's supposed to work, where we get a very quick Jin or Mentor and we win. Hasn't been doing that, but I can tell you from off the off the video experience that it's been doing that quite a bit for me. So I don't know why it hasn't since we started playing, but sometimes that's how it goes. This is a mulligan. Uh, this is okay. Let's just bottom this white land. Okay, Spyglass, Saren, Play Island and Pass. I think... Alright, so we're going to take one. That's a Lazav. Let's consider. Uh, I don't want to land. Right, we have a helping hand. We have a mentor. Right, let's play our pain land and pass. Our hand's a little clunky at the moment, but we should be able to make it work. That is a Gix. They're going to draw two and we're going to lose two. That's great. Or lose three. Uh, Seacrum Coast, Hottie Shin. With no power. Very strong card. It seems as though using your graveyard for um, things in mythic is not our low mythic is not what you want to be doing now they can make that out a jin if they want to maybe we need to look to play in some kind of other board wipe in the sideboard too okay yeah we've seen enough that game one, uh, game two was as quick as game one. Just on the opposite side of things. I'm going to bring back in a gaze. And I'm going to go back. 
I'm gonna go down to one coat. And hopefully they don't curve out like that again. Okay, here we go. We're going to play first. This hand is not good. This hand's a little better. I'll keep it. Uh, um, I'm going to bottom the mentor. I think Jin's a little safer, maybe. No, let's, let's keep the mentor. It's just more powerful of a card. If we ever make a couple tokens, it puts him behind quite a bit. Um, let's just play our pain land and pass. If they play duress, we'll spell pierce it, I guess. Or, yeah, we'll play spell pierce it. We will take a point of damage. Okay. No duress. Okay, we could just play island shredder here. We'll have Prankster plus Spell Pierce next turn. I don't hate it. Let's do it. Shredder is surprisingly not as good as this deck as you think it would be. Because usually when I draw it, I'm like, yeah, I wish this was something else. But I don't think there is anything else, so. We will continue to run it. Okay. I take the turn off for a go for the throat. That's fine by me. Play planes and just pass the turn back. Looks like they're, cons they're gonna explore under their spyglass siren. That's fine with me. I have a bat on top. Let's let's free the fae. Alright, uh, they could have like a spell pierce, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna spell pierce their spell pierce. Look at the recommission. I'm gonna cons Actually, I'm just gonna play the land here. And play Mentor. Pass the turn. Tell them they had to kill us now instead of playing the bat. And if they do kill it, we can just recommission it. Okay, so they're going to play bat. I'm going to consider. Um, I will keep that. If they want to take consider, that's fine. If not, we can. Okay. That was my assumption of what they would take, but... You never know. And it's possible we just chain some spells this turn. Uh, this coming turn. And they just get in really bad shape. I'm going to play Ledger Shredder. And attack. They could double block Mentor, but I'd be okay with that. Okay, I'm going to draw. I'm going to bottom that, or bend that. We get a helping hand. So, we could return a sh another shredder, but I don't think we do. So, let's just pass. They kill Mentor, we can helping hand it back. And they don't, so we win. <laughs> 